Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Okay. So turn on your camera. Thank you very much. Uh, I believe, Raymond, you finished your WA already? Uh, no. Actually, uh, I have three more exams like next week. Oh, this coming week, uh, not next week, uh, this week. Uh. Uh, yeah. For oh, when? Tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow and Wednesday. I have two tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Uh, okay. Uh, my birthday wish for you tomorrow will pass your exam. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow is my... Actually, tomorrow is supposed to be international holidays. So. Because it's King Raymond's birthday, so must be declared national holiday. Oh. Mm. Huh? That's like two days ago, the King Charles got coronation, right? Uh, actually, I supposed to fly to my cousin there to attend his uh, uh, coronation, King Charles at Wang Kang. But Uncle Raymond's, King Raymond also very busy here, uh, giving social study. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Uh, all the best to your exam. So, uh, I believe Gavin also having exam. Huh? Yeah, Wang Kang finished already. You have all completed already. Yeah. You got your result already? Oh, I still got Chinese. All right. Yeah. Uh, just like Wu Zi San, in your hand. Uh, you can answer it. Uh, uh, Xiao Yu Zi 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 Xiao Yu if I'm not mistaken, so we're going to complete our uh, homogenizations and hybridizations topic here. Homogen uh, this, this two topics, uh, homogenizations and uh, uh, hybridizations for this uh, today's topic. And then we will cover some of Wang Kang's. Uh, you received my notes, huh? Wang Kang. Yeah? Okay, good. All right. So we are talking about Chapter 10 World. What's that for worker? Organizations, um, I can't remember what's asking for, sorry. And then L for leaders and D for defense. Uh. Okay, let's go. So talk about this one, which is better, homogenization or hybridization? It's a supper for this one, uh, this topic here. Then I'm going to go and switch to my PowerPoint. I think Jia Ying also today, um, I think as they're not coming in, so okay, my age. Okay, which is better? There's only five slides uh, here. Which is better, homogenization or hybridization? Okay, uh, I think last week we talked about the Starbucks and how Starbucks affect the Italy and the China market and how it slowly, surely, and definitely start to take some of the market share in Italy as well in China. So initially, Italy doesn't like it because it's kind of uh, taking it into become a homogenization, taking away the roots of the Italy's culture, but slowly it becomes hybridization because he realized that we cannot afford, or should I say they can't afford that, knowing that Starbucks is it's a matter of time uh, to come in, to take over the world. So you can see, uh, Raymond, we study the history, uh, you realize that initially Japan don't allow for trading, right? And then Germany Treaty of Versailles, correct? Now. The Treaty of Versailles made Germany to decide to force them into World War II, right? Because um, they are not able to trade, they are not able to do a lot of things. So they decided, okay, now, since you cannot allow me to do so much things, right? So I take the, the law and everything in my own hands and start to, to rebuild Germany, which sometimes is like Fu Tiao Chiang. Yes, Wang Kang. Don't play cheat, I tell you, I don't pretend, pretend, look at me, then he use the apple. Come help me, help me to search. What is B Fu Tiao Chiang? Think of my Raymond. Raymond, so serious. Raymond, are you there? Raymond, Raymond hang already is already. Yeah. Are you there? Mm. I can't see you like you're yeah. frozen. Like. Oh. Why is people mm. tell Chiang? You see me. Do you know the meaning? I kind of get it. Like from the I can interpret. Uh. Okay, why is that? It's like when you like recently when you fall someone behind like 
like beyond their threshold, right? Like they just kind of can't hold it. And then you, they have to do something to just, they just have to do something. Okay, thank you. How about uh, Wang Kang? What is your explanation? Uh, I don't know the meaning. No, oh. can... What do you say? Oh, I, I never hear before. Okay, now you Google it and tell me. Uh. Gavin? I think, I think like if one falls, the other will fall. I don't know. I don't really know. Okay, the word B is B, B Liang Wei Chan. Think B Liang Wei Chan. Force people into prostitution, force people to do bad things. B, I force you to do bad things. B, I force you to do bad things. B, I force you to do bad things. If the tiger or the B, B, or B, go to do bad things, you are forcing people to go beyond. Right, check it out, uh, Wang Kang. So, same thing. Uh, when the countries are forced, uh, you know, they have no other uh, resources to do it. Uh. They have, might as well, they will go war against with you. So for example, some country like Sudan, uh, some country like Yemen, in certain countries, they are being boycotted by the, the United Nations or US. They have no other choice, but they have find illegal means to get their weapons, get their resources. So is it good, not? honestly? So which one did you later have to tell me? Whether the first H or the second H is better. So I think this has a homodic generation, or the second one is hybridization second. Uh, H2. Uh. Sounds like H1, H2. Uh, you're going for A level. You have H1 and H2. Uh, which one do you think is. Uh, H2 is more difficult, right? Correct me. But I, I'm not sure you. By the, by the time you go A level, you know. Okay. So, which one is the most impactful to be negative or positive? For up to one to six, uh, which one has the cause and consequences and result? So, Uncle Raymond choose food followed by religions. Uh. But I, I may have changed. Uh, I would prefer to choose um, religions over food. Uh. Okay, if you were to tell me, I feel that religions is over food. Because you know, certain religions uh, uh, will not allow certain food for them to eat, right? Correct, uh, Gavin. Like, hello, Mimi. Like, uh, like one, uh, Gavin, the one come, what happened? You frozen your, your camera. Okay, thanks. Like, uh, Gavin, you realize that Muslim cannot eat pork, right? So, you see, uh, if this country were to sell rou gan into that, we do so mei chen xiang, okay? Want to sell rou gan uh, to this uh, Muslim country. What kind of rou gan should they replace? Chicken? Maybe, no, chicken may not be popular. Maybe mutton. Eh? Ah, maybe mutton. But honestly, uh, tell me the truth, Gavin. If I were to replace mutton over pork uh, as rou gan, uh, do you think the Kuwait would be nice? Eh? No. No, may not, right? You need the yes. professional, yeah, you may need a Muslim to do the barbecue or the ingredients, the tiao wei liao bu yang, right? right? But then you know there's a big market. Imagine your rogue is selling, selling to Saudi Arabia. Oh my goodness, the Middle East country, yeah. You know, Middle East are very rich people, uh, right? You can buy whatever. So, how? So, this is where you have to look into the perspective of whether you think your products is good to go to that certain countries. All you want to stay in that country, I leave it to you. Uh. All right. So uh, let's later we'll choose which one it is. Uh. I'll give you some time. Uh, please. You need to choose uh, because uh, Wang Kam, Yen Mian, and Gavin, and Jia Ying, as well as Raymond. Uh, if you're listening, I'm uh, sure exam will come up either one of the two comparisons. If I choose number two and number three, then they ask you which one do you think has a more serious impact to the cultures, uh, to the, the country, society, or diversity of a particular country or to Singapore. Uh. So it can be four and six, four and five, one and three, that kind of things. Confirm on eating when you're If the exam come out in SRQ, okay? So I will choose food and religions to compare. So I give one example. So later you have to tell me, okay? Next, number three. For home organizations, from locals coffee shop to Starbucks, from folk dance to break dance, and of course now to K-pop dance. And now to don't know what kind of funny dance I saw though. From traditional food to fast food, and fast food now to uh, mixed foods, uh, hybrid foods, between uh, they call the fusion food, yes, to fusion food. Okay. Now it comes fusion food. Then for hybridization, uh, presence, uh, okay, to fusion food might be, this one can, this one should be here. I think the fusion food should be here. Okay, 
the present lasa to kimchi lasa to maybe fusion food Vietnamese plus maybe um, I don't know. Do you recently go to McDonald's, Raymond? That there's this Jong Jong Burger or the Jang Jang Burger? No, I don't go McDonald's. Um, yeah, not McDonald's kids. Okay, fine. You don't eat McDonald's, seriously. Yeah, I just don't go there. You mean from young when you're toddler until you're not even single food on McDonald's? I mean, like, like I. Like like once every year, like when I can't like when I don't have the choice, yes. Uh you say my same. Now I saw well, last time I like crazy for McDonald's. But now I seriously uh okay like my younger son is is a French fry kid. He loves the French fry McDonald's. <coughs> okay. Well uh Gavin, you know right the Jung Jung burger, right? Uh it's a Korean, right? Korean, right? Correct. And then got this uh Lassi Loma burger, right? Recently uh in Singapore. So the same thing, the Asian musical instrument with Western music. So can your piece uh, also come out later? Uh, tell me uh, what kind of food music they, they have been doing, the homodized taking over, as well as those uh, hybrid. That means join forces together. Okay. You know, National Day is a good example that like they play the music together, they share the different types of musical instruments. Number four, slide number four. So does the country really needs to be this H, H1 or H2? Okay, so I just put H1 and H2 easier for you, huh? But you must know uh, homogenizations or hybridizations. So then once the country select one of the H, why? Why do you think they want to select one H? How does the government going to implement? If you choose H1, what are they going to do? If they choose H2, are they going to neglect certain group of people because you're hybrid with one race, you're not hybrid the other? Or should you hybrid all? When one of the races, excuse me, I'm not interested to join your hybridizations at all. I want to be my own food. I don't think I should share my culture with other races. Nothing wrong is, is they have their own choice because they want to preserve their cultures. Okay, let's talk about it later. Okay, to simplify, uh, why not? Uh, Gavin, you read to the class, please. The whole slide. Thank you. To simplify, homogenization is very similar to assimilation, loss of culture, where hybridization is very similar to integration. Hybridization, blend cultural hybridization. Cultural blending, which means like blend of cultures, but not made to look like and look the same as each other. What is homogeneization in globalization? Cultural homogeneization is an aspect of cultural globalization. This is one of its main characteristics and refers to the reduction of in cultural diversity through the popularization and diffusion of a wide array of cultural symbols, not only physical objects, but customs, ideas, and values. Habitization refers to the close concept of culture and to its opening up in the process ushering in post-hybridity. This is an argument for post-international sociology of hybrid times, spaces, and formations. Wow, so like very team like that. Huh? Well, very a lot of mouthful of things like together. In in summarize, to summarize it is to say that both H1 and H2 uh, they actually might need to allow certain culture to exchange for their own uh, values and or in order to remain and maintain or not to get become extinct. So sometimes you have to bring out because honestly, uh, seriously, uh, we all know zhongzi, uh, the rice dumpling, uh, zhongzi. I'm not sure you all like it. I love to eat zhongzi a lot, seriously. But what happened? Uh, will this zhongzi uh, be able to sell in, in 50 years' time? Uh? By then, I already 60 plus, or no, 50 years. Maybe I already die already. Uh. Okay, I'm gone for it. But will, will it appear for you 50 years? You are maybe 60 plus, uh, Kelvin. So 60 plus. So how ah? Nobody know how to ban that zhongzi. Do you know how to ban zhongzi? Okay. Who is it? Maybe I don't think you and I will know. Seriously, yeah. I know. 
，然后你会绑了就好了，就就就有后后人用了。啊，明明啊不是啊，王刚你会绑吗？你会绑粽子啊？啊好，这样我跟你做生意好吗？你绑了我拿去卖 ，steady 啦 ，OK， 我们做 business partner，OK、okay? 啊，谁会绑了一起一起绑？哎，真的有一定有，你看啊，你懂啊？在端午节的时候啊，吃粽子的时候 ，I think last year only 啊 ，just so fast。当粽粽那个端端午节吃粽子的时候，一个粽子两块都可以卖四块多哎，他卖五块多，就像你懂 after that 然后就吃那个月饼啊，平时月饼没有人买还是什么，哇，一一下子做 expensive。So can 我们可以用月饼来做 hybridization H2 吗？还是我们用那个肉干也是要吗？现在肉干也是啊啊啊 ，integrated to other brand 啊，所以我觉得你们有空啊，有时去 shopping center 的时候去看看啊，他们把那个 food 啊怎么样 hybrid 啊 ，to other things， then you give you some ideas 哎。No seriously， it will help you to give you some idea what is all about。Okay， all right， I will give you about one minute so to think about this one， which one you want to choose， and then Masaya， and then which one you think compare with these two， then after that we、we'll、talk about uh this one here。Okay, so now I just put it here. So give you one minute. I go to restroom for a while first. All right. So tell me, you must choose two, ah,、uh, and then you explain to you why you choose number three and number five. What is the difference? Okay, Raymond, can you tell me what you want to have? Oh,、uh, I will say right. Oh,、uh, hmm. The、uh, homogenization and hybridization has the most impact in terms of culture and food. Okay, wow,、well, culture and food, lah. Like, tell. All right. So the point I want to make is that, right? Uh, for example, homogenization. I would say it has a quite a significant impact on food because, right? Homogenize with homogenization, it allows. Okay, never mind. You must get you to read the word because in the exam you cannot put H one H two. Okay, homogenization. Yeah. Homogenization, right? It makes the uh, it it allows for the production of like the food more uniformly and like so uniform with like homogenization, no? And then it is more consistent to sell at a large scale. So、uh, like look at McDonald's, like they are able to produce like what uh five hamburgers like in it. Or five minutes, so right, it makes food more readily available for like the consumers and right, and then with hybridization, right, it affects、uh, actually for both homogenization and hybridization, they have a a huge impact in, on in in the context of culture. So right, let's say the globalization, right, it allows culture to like so called blend together. Uh, which uh, blending of different like cultures, traditions, and some practices, which results in new hybridized forms of like, uh, like new hybridized forms of like culture in general, and this like while this can have positive effects, it it is like、uh, is worth noting that it has also le led to the loss of like traditional cultures. And yeah, which leads to homogenization of like the global culture.
actually what you're saying that give me an idea write down uh, if all of you are interested actually this uh, homogenization and hybridization uh, is to prevent for extinctions for the culture we are okay like a culture theater. I won't be surprised maybe in 10 20 years time when this uh, Bur McDonald Burger King or KFC they have a research group uh, a team uh, that realize that the zongzi might be off. Uh, they might come out like mosh burger. You see, mosh burger also have their rice burger. So I won't be surprised that zongzi might come out become a burger. As what one of my students say, right? What kind of burger is that? There's a possibility that it might change. It might be decided to, to preserve the culture from extinctions so that there is the values for it. Uh, uh, to some, that uh, I don't care. So what, I'm a Chinese. Uh, I don't care whether zongzi or not. It's not my big deal. So I just leave it at this. I I I just like I don't want to, to bother anymore. I just want to decide that okay, I feel like eating what I, I didn't I don't think there's an impact in my life if I lost this culture of the, the rice dumping tung or, or even the the uh, uh okay, you know in December sometimes we eat tan yuan, right? Tan yuan. When you eat the tanya in the December, to, to say that it's the end of the some something like that. So what, what happens if this is not become like commercialized? Uh is it going to be impactful? I don't know. Some people are still move on. Last time when I was young, I was used to, to rub against the tanya, okay, to make the tanya the, the ball and then put some ingredients, and then after that at night. Okay. But now you don't need to do that. Nobody wants to sit there and rub the tan yuan. People will buy in the, the supermarket, okay, in Sing Song or Cold Storage or NTUC Bear Price, you name it. Uh, and then giant, and then they'll go home and pour it and eat it. But they still reserve, preserve the culture. Of course, now they come out with different flavor. So yeah, thanks. Uh, I agree with that. So it's to prevent extinction. Gavin, what about you? Okay, I think the most positive is religion. Lah. So you must choose two, uh, up to one to six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, you must choose two to compare. Okay. Uh, most positive religion, most negative entertainment. A uh, Most positive religion and most negative is what? Entertainment. Oh, 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 oh. wow, surprise, surprise. You better don't disturb my cousin Jackson Wang. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. I think religion positive because religion uh, spreads like positive values to the people. Then if they are religious, they will, they will just do the values. Uh. Then they can care for uh, people. So it's very positive. Uh. Uh, but however, entertainment, uh, if you don't experience the culture that much, if you want to make a, like a movie, you can maybe just offend their culture really. So oh, yes, very true. About very true. Yeah. Impact. Very true. Yeah. You have to experience the culture. That but the movie budget doesn't allow. So most likely it's going to be negative. You remind me of the Mulan. Uh. You remember the Mulan, the latest movie Mulan by Disney? Uh. Not the cartoon one or uh, the human one. Uh. At that time, I think because of COVID-19, uh, they came out this movie and everyone was like very anti this Mulan because it's from China. But not then. After I watched that movie, I feel that uh, the way they designed the, the movie uh, is so ridiculous where, you know, the, the way the house they, they, they stay and uh, what else? Uh, and the setting uh, is a bit different from the, the, the ancient China history of the Mulan because that one is like more to the so-called the... The setting refers to more to the the Hakka, the Kejia, the Chuanto, the like a Zhu. They did not go into that like, the real old dynasty where the houses are different. So I feel that um Disney is just a Cao Cao Luji, just anyhow, just to make a Mulan movie out of it. And I find that I don't know. I, I just watched once once of that movie, I give up. Yeah. So the entertainment has a bad impact on me, to be honest. I rather watch the cartoon Mulan or even the China Mulan, the movie. Yeah much better than the one made by Disney. Uh. So it doesn't mean all Disney movies are good in terms, yes. It might be showing the different cultures in a different 
Okay, like, it's using for entertainment perspective. Uh, we, uh, Kelvin, I understand. I truly understand. But yeah, I don't know. I, I agree with you. So the negative is entertainment, the positive religions are out of these six. All right, thank you, uh, Kelvin. Uh, Min Min, so which one do you choose? Uh, one to six. Which one do you think is positive? Which one is not negative? Uh, I think um, uh, cultural is positive. Yeah. Another one? Uh, I maybe food is negative. Uh. Oh, okay. Please tell me why. Uh, you need, need to explain like Raymond and Gavin. Uh, okay, come. I am uh, I, I, uh, a human. Okay, uh, wait, wait. Which one is the most uh, I think culture is like. Uh, the most impactful maybe because mm. like 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 maybe you can like learn different values in different culture and then like and then like you know learn different things from other cultures okay then. Uh, and, then for, and then for the food it's negative because like like you know like the type of food in the country you know might change um uh, may change how some foreigners view the country uh, because of the taste of the food i think Oh, yes, very true. You are definitely right. Because once, uh, yeah, uh, take for example, kimchi. Uh, some people like from Korea, uh, when they come to Singapore, they feel that their kimchi are not spicy. They feel that the kimchi has been being modified to suit according to the local flavor and feel that like very insulted. Hey, my this 100 years of kimchi, why you're going to change into such a uh, lousy things like that? Yeah, 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 possible, possible. Yeah, it's true. I agree with the, the food. So sometimes, because they want to change their taste but, and, and habits. But the culture, I also agree that there's always positive because they, they are always teaching the right values. Okay, thank you, Mei Mei. Uh, Jia Ying, what about you, Jia Ying? Yes, Jia Ying. Oh, okay, yes, Jia Ying, you're, you're saying? Uh, it's like all of you are like, Jia Ying, where is Jia Ying? Jia Ying is in the booth. Once upon a time. <laughs> where you come and see? Jia Ying, I have seen... I think Jia Ying, when you watch video, I'm like this, you don't want to eat food. So you all will be out of the way. Okay, Wang Kang, what do you think? Which one? Oh, I think that food is positive and then fashion is negative. Hmm. Why um, do F is one positive and one negative? Uh, um, because for fashion... Oh, right, well, do F, ma. You are, you're also very F like you. Very funny, la. Uh, yeah. Then, then look at Raymond. He also very F. Very, very fantastic, law. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gabby is even double F. Feel with fun and laughter. <laughs> okay, now back to the two F from Wang Kang. <laughs> Food and fashion. Uh, fashion is negative because um, now there are a lot of um, like teenagers from like different. Um, cultures like they don't want to wear the tra traditional costumes and they want to wear like those um clothes that's influenced by like western culture um then for food um i want to laugh okay then my speaking who are or they can see ah but don't want to get to you may have been to how you to high school that tradition that's all never mind carry on um for food is is positive because um there's a lot of food that is like, is like originated from a long time ago. So you can really like understand like a culture through their food. Honestly, uh, tell me the truth, uh, Wang Kang, seriously. Uh, you, you have to wear Liu Sanjie's clothes, right? You know, Liu, Liu Sanjie, right? Hey, you can't wear that clothes, right? You have to wear that clothes, right? You have to wear that Chinese mouth clothes, right? You have to wear that hair, right? You have to wear that hair, right? You understand what I mean? Hey, sorry, uh, Wang Kang and Mian Mian and Jia Ying. I prefer girl with long hair. Uh. Okay, if girl with short hair, like, 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 like Raymond's or my hair or Galvin hair, uh, sorry, uh, I feel... Oh, girl. Girl, okay, uh, Raymond. Sorry, ah, uh, I'm not saying your for guys is okay lah. For for for, you guys, you also wear that long hair, right? 
Correct or not? You, you can learn, I, I cannot take it. Eh? Or even the girls shave their hair. Oh my goodness. I, I cannot take it. Okay, you say you shave your hair for hair for hope, ah, for cancer society, I understand. Ah. But you say, Tiana, wow, turn it on that day, ah, one come, my wife want to go cut hair. Say, please, ah, don't be a Tiana type one. Wow, I use the word. Wow, turn it on that day, ah, one come, my wife want to go cut hair. So, can you imagine ah, that time I was in Nanyang Girls? Ah, this record. I see most of the girls, that was many years ago. All their hair is so short. It's like, oh my God, seriously. I'm like back to China <laughs> in the 60s, 70s. So do you think, okay, fashion, ma? so you say fashion, ma, the hair short, short, but they, they keep yourself more tidy. So one come back to you, honestly, if you say fashion is um, a, a very uh, a negative, uh, is it because they're dressing or what? Because they make the dressing uh, into so horrible. Uh, like, um, they don't want to go and like find out and then like know more about their traditional costumes. You are wrong, no. There are some of the fashion designer, uh, they really make effort to do it. Uh, I'm telling you seriously. Because uh, this one, be careful when you say this. Uh, because you, you in study exam, uh, okay. But if you go to the real world working, be careful. Because this type of fashions, uh, they do research and they make uh, effort to understand, they modify the fashion because uh, one can't, maybe and an, uh, Tia Ying uh, for ladies. Uh, you realize now the day the, the clothing, uh, I cannot tell you, I cannot take it, I told you before I one can't. I cannot see girls wearing the, the jeans, uh, wearing the, uh, going for jeans, that kind of biotats. Uh, before they can go to the gym, they start wearing it uh, in the MRT or walk around, wear like a yifu, yipan, tuan tuan, kind of belly, la, kind of bare back, or I cannot take it. Uh. Yeah, seriously, Raymond, yeah, I cannot take it. Oh, my wife said, well, just nice while we are on the way to go for jeans. Or even their coats, the boy, that don't boy, like that don't I. Sorry, I don't know. But you see, um, I hesitate to say something, but you see, is this wrong? I believe Nihaizi does you kind of beautiful a little bit. So are you saying that fashions in the past, Lao Tao Liang? But why you see people? 把旧的fashion拿过来讲的,因为你讲fashion不好嘛。如果不好的话, it's not good. Why they are taking the old way of fashion to bring to the presence? Ah, this is where you're talking about number one and number two already. Oh, so it's not wrong, uh, uh, Wang Kang. I mean, I'm just putting my point across. I, I, it's an argumentative stuff. Uh. But I agree with your food, uh, seriously. But uh, fashions, uh, which is not wrong, but you have to add this one point. Fashion because it evolved as well as food. But well, fashion evolved because, you know, um, fashion, you see, uh, food is where you eat, you, you get, you know, it display very nice. After you makan ready, you eat ready, that's it. But well, fashion is that like you wear every day. Like. Food, you don't eat every day the same food, like, let's be honest. Huh? But fashion, you can wear different, but same, like, I mean, seriously, you, in your wardrobe, you should have one shirt huh, that you can wear many times. Of course, food, we are talking about rice, we don't talk about rice, huh? that's a different staple of food. So, uh, since most of, most of us say food here, I think food is one of the main impact of homogenization and hybridization. So one can't don't get angry. Uh. It's nothing wrong that, no, for you, Mie Mie and Jia Ying, you are still teenagers, okay, and adolescents should make up to put on makeup and, and, and dress yourself, nothing wrong. But some of them are Tai Kuo exaggerating. Yeah. Tai Kuo Kuo Chang, I cannot take it when the girl the mascara so long. Wow, my goodness, seriously. I got one day I want to ask my daughter, my daughter Dimitri, she, she will go and make mascara, really go and make. I go and make a face. Then every time I go to the face, I see her face fall down. Oh, that goes a few dollars. Then I ask her, you know, daddy to do it, okay? She looks at me, you know what she said to me? I think daddy, you do your hair, then your face fall down. Oh, I'm sorry. But she still has a chance. She does the finger, what do you call it? Medicure. Wow, so many colors, got diamond, got this. Uh, this is also fashion. So how can you say this? Uh, 你看那个五折天, uh, 不是五折天, 那个七, uh, 是那个, the last emperor of uh, Qin, uh, em, the last emperors of uh, uh, That's the traditional va uh, values bringing out here. See, a lot of things are not done, all right? This topic is all, you will continue all the way to your A level and even further. Because this topic is from past, present, and future. How you mentioned that? Huh? Okay. Thank you, Wang Kang. Uh, 
Now, because Jiang is not in today, we can't ask her today. So maybe next round. This one we read through already, right? Did that day? Okay, about this one. Okay, I'm not sure you have done the this one here. Maybe I need to. I the day I was thinking, I need to do something about this one. In your opinion, why is making decision a challenge for a country like Singapore? Explain your answer with reference to two reasons. Same thing. Uh, can we take this up seriously? Uh, pay attention. Uh, I say serious, pay attention. Uh. When you're making decision next year, when you got your O level result, it's either you go to JC or you go to uh, Bali. All right. Uh, That's my daughter behind. Okay. Yeah. That's my daughter. Oh, gone. Okay. So, may I ask? Uh, there's two factors like JC or Bali. So, which one will you go? Of course, it depends on your grade. But let's say all of you got um, seven points. All A ones and seven subject, all A ones, seven point. Okay. Uh Gavin, you prefer to go JC or Polly? Hey, I tell you all, Polly better. Polly, the girl that prettier. JC, all the girl looks like that, like that. The one there. Okay. Uh, Gavin. Uh, Raymond, okay, go Polly, Polly. Girl, the girl there very chill one. Ah, don't go JC. Uh. JC, all the girl looks nerd, nerd one, all wear uniform, so boring. Never put makeup one, don't have mascara. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. Don't be shy, don't be shy, guys. <laughs> Uh, Wang Kang and Mei and Jia Ying also go poly. Poly, the guys look more macho and good. Wow. You go JC, all the girl looks like Chao Piti Jia. Come on, see Joe, ah, okay. So which one do you think? Seven point, of course, shall we? This, this differing needs and interests. I'm referring to this to your own needs and interests. Huh? Okay. Raymond, would you mind read this? Then the evidence shows within a society. Uh, within a society, there is a challenge in deciding on what is good for society. Different people have different needs and interests, and this leads to people disagreeing on what is more important to them and the extent of what they will be willing to give up for the society, for the benefit of society. A society can probably agree on basic needs, such as the need for clothing, food, shelter, and others. However, a diverse society may not be able to agree on common interests and what is important for a happy or fulfilling life. Carry on for this one. For example, when a div divisive decision was made to drill through the central catchment reserve while constructing the Cross Island Line, there was much debate between the camps for and against it. Exactly. This is a major issue. Now I'm talking about a major issue going to JC and Bali. Joe, aside by talking about girls pretty, the guy handsome, or all the guys, if I ask me, uh, Gavin, I will, if I have a chance, uh, I will still want to go back to JC. I still want to go back to JC because the subject that I want to study, uh, I don't think can be found in Bali, which is history which is English literature, okay? I will not do that. Even now, poly, they got law. I will not want to take diploma law. I will continue to do my JC uh, subject and go to um, university. And if I have a chance now, uh, I won't want to go to NTU, NAS, or I'll go to overseas and study my law. Oh, by the way, how may, may just to answer you, uh, I recently got one private candidate. She's supposed to come in today, uh, but I think she's shy. Uh. You know how much she spent, uh, ladies and gentlemen, she's st studying at private school uh, now. Uh, now, uh, Paying $16,000 for the whole entire course. Taking English, Chinese, maths, AE maths, pure, pure physics, pure bio, I think, and uh, social study and history. 16000 maybe crazy, you know. 16000 Then I say, hey, how much you pay for your coming O-level exam? She told me, uh, listen, uh, $1,000. Holy shit, man. $1,000. Hey, you pay $1,000? You made small talk. Uh, this is zero for us. Huh? No, we don't need to pay for our registration for O level exam. Wow. All of you are one kind also. Ah? Oh, I need to pay because I'm not Singaporean. So is it thousand dollars? Uh, uh no, like um I forgot. But I think it's less than hundred. But I'm less than hundred and you are foreigners pay one hundred. My poor girl. That, that girl called Chloe, uh, I have to pay $1,000. Wow. So what can you tell I think around 16 uh. 就算给你200块也是很便宜吗? 对不对? Oh, man, man. 他还1000块嘞? 我的妈! <laughs> What's that? And then, uh, 他的那个学校一半啊, 全部都是不抽, 不是抽烟, 
不是抽烟讲错，不读书的。Oh my goodness, some of them are all flop man. They are all level flop and then go there and study. Oh my goodness, you see. So ladies and gentlemen, so this is the same thing. Ah,、uh, I'm giving you a warning now. Ah,、uh, if you're not going to study well, ah,、uh, A levels. Ah,、uh, you see, if you are doing private candidate, you see, O level already sixteen thousand. Can you imagine that A levels might be double of it, thirty thousand? And those people there, honestly, I ask really, some of them cannot study. They don't study one. They just go there and join life. Same lah. Your class also some of them also want to give up study already. They also don't want to study one. Whether you are from what school you come from, sure got at least certain percentage ah. People do not studies. So you see different differing needs and interests. So I leave it to you ah. So how you put this in the perspective of your lifestyle? Okay. Thank you, Ah、uh, Raymond. Differing priorities now. Okay. Ah,、uh, we may we might read to the class, please. Beside, besides differing needs and interests, there could also be disagreements on priorities. Citizens of a country may agree that it it is important for the country to provide affordable healthcare, a good education, and a clean environment. However, citizens may disagree on what area the government should prioritize. Although most of them agree on what areas the government should focus on, the responses as to how the government should prioritize them differ by income groups. Okay, so give an example, ah,、uh, give me, okay, ah,、uh, maybe can you read this one? Wait, ah,、uh, wait, ah,、uh, okay, here, go. For instance, a survey ran from one December twenty twelve to thirty one January twenty thirty, interviewing at least four thousand Singaporeans. Those who monthly salaries exceeded five thousand dollars placed public health care as most important. Those who monthly salaries、uh, were below five thousand dollars placed public housing as the most important. As such, due to society's diversity, people may rank different areas that they feel the government should focus on differently, leading to a difference in priority. You see, thank you so much for your read, Ah Mei Mei. You see, you are right, no. They got no futures. All these people will just 得过且过，做一天才会算，敲一天钟。You know they are they they just like some of them. They just take it okay lah. You know why lah, Mei Mei? Some of the guys go in for O level is to defer their national service. They want to buy time not to go to the army. Stupid them. Really, yeah. I don't know. Ah, so why 善良不正下来玩 ？I'm not blaming them a hundred percent. Ah, their parents also have to play a part. Seriously. So next time when your parents please ah. From young, ah,、uh, education is super important. I know, like just now, I was arguing with my daughter, ah,、uh, maybe that ah,、uh, university to her is not important. You see, I earn more than Coco. Coco, the university man, so so my son is in university, my daughter is in diploma. So my younger son, ah,、uh, is now in P five. So he's listening to the Coco and say, "Do I do uni or diploma or that's it?" And then I come up, become a YouTuber, become better than Mr. Beast, yeah, or play more Genshin, yeah. You see. Oh my goodness! This is like differing needs and not only differing priorities. Different priorities. Really, nothing wrong. Ah,、uh, whether he is choosing which course. Ah,、uh, at least ah,、uh, maybe you are right. At least they are better than those people. 就是没有 future 的，就是浪费他父母是亲的钱。Sixteen thousand plus exam one thousand seventeen thousand man. You know a seventeen thousand can do a diploma course no? Maybe and seriously a good diploma course. Ah, 真是。我看我我可以去开一间私人学校做教 O level， but、uh, of course you must be certified on it. Anyway, thanks ah, Mei Mei for reading this. Next question, next one. Unequal ah,、uh, this is the one. There are few types ah.、Uh, ah,、uh, you may not find this in your your textbook um your teachers who put your in. So I put everything in for your for for reference ah.、Uh, ah,、uh, may I have ah、uh, Kevin? Oh no, ah、uh, Wang Kang. No, one can't do it because he may read the. Okay, never mind. You read this one. One can't. Well, while an infrastructural development may be beneficial for all members of society, some parties may have to give up more in return than others. This cost can this cost can come in the form of noise pollution from construction sites, having to give up personal property and etc. For instance. No, 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 no. Wait, ah, here, ah, correct here. For instance. The construction of the Thomson Line for Singapore's mass 
tra rapid transport si transit system. While beneficial for the majority of Singaporeans, it causes some to have great bear greater burdens than others. In areas where land is privately owned, but there exists a need to construct stations, some people, like the residents of Marine Parade, have to give up their land for compensation, either willingly or forced, possibly. Therefore, even though everyone benefits in the end, some people have had to give up their land, while others just have to endure construction noises. If you are staying in Marine Parade, near the Marine Parkway Parade, or near the Victoria Junior College, uh, near the Chalet, near the East Coast Park McDonald, those are the reclaimed lands. Uh. That time, that part here is all about reclaims and all about those, uh, what do you call these, uh, uh, swampy areas. And the government make it in such a way, uh, what do you call, become so um, popular, so expensive and become a resort world, a resort place, or not resort world, resort place where people can cycle and all these things. So this is the cost, okay, sharing the cost. So I don't know, do you think it should be good or not? Sharing, I don't say Marine Parade. Should I use my taxpayer money to pay there? Should I be there? You don't know, right? Uh, so again, it all depends on how you see. Just like yesterday, one of my set one students are welcome. His sister can study in UCLA. You know UCLA? You know where UCLA? Remember, you know, right? Can study in UCLA, I think, like that. You can study in Edinburgh, la, which is Scotland. Bloody hell, that, those are very good universities. Yeah. She choose NUS. Then you all say, what's wrong with National University of Singapore? Nothing wrong. La. Of course, nothing wrong. I'm a Singaporean. I also support my local university, right? All right. Then I ask her, why choose NUS? She said, I don't know. So what about you? I asked her, would you want to choose NUS? She straight away said, no. I want to go to France to study culinary in France or Germany. Whoa. So you see, the sharing of costs, the mom had to pay the cost for this elder sister and for her. So which one is you think is important? Is it NUS? The cost cheaper or, or in studying UCLA? Honestly, yeah, if you can, uh, honestly, I tell you, if you are telling you, listening, if you can, please, my, my thing is nothing wrong with NTU and NUS. Okay, nah, nothing wrong. My ex-student who's working with me studying NTU and NUS, nothing wrong. If financial is not the burden for you or for your parents, or if you can earn a scholarship, hey, please uh, go overseas and study. Go overseas. Okay? And all most of the universities out there, their history is longer than Singapore University. I think the oldest for NUS is about 60 years, I am if I'm not mistaken, or less than maybe 100 years or so. I, I'm not sure. Okay, not because my universities are overseas. Okay, I'm not saying that uh, NUS or NTU is no good. And one of the reasons, because I also very fed up of the local U. Because when I applied my uni last time in my JC, I did not get in what I want. That is law. Okay. My, my, my friend say, uh, 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 itchy backside. La. You can take other course you don't want. You take law. Of course, your grade are no good. Uh, why? Because, man, man, the stupid things of math. <laughs> you see? Oh, chamber result is not just math. It's a big deal. Uh, so I suspect that they reject me. So, sorry, Raymond, you are not selected for law. But obviously, you can't do it, right? You law is not going to be very good mark. Right? All the A1, so nothing wrong. I'm very frank with you. So uh, you ask me, so partly is what I, I got to blame. Uh, I did not do my math well. <laughs> so I bear the sharing cost to study uh, other universities. Okay, so just to, I want to use this as a, this is how all these are uh, 国家大事的东西, uh, okay, national level. But I'm using your my personal example now, 就是那些我们每天经过的东西, 好像你要吃什么东西啦,你要去哪里, 逛街啦, shopping, 要买什么东西给, Oh, by the way, next week is mommy's birthday. Uh. All the mom, not birthday, uh, why am I talking? Mommy's day, Mother's day, uh, 14th of uh, May. Uh. Okay, so uh, so this is where, are you going to share costs with your, your sibling to buy a cake or, or bring your moms out? Uh, for makan, you know what is makan uh, to go for a meal. Okay, so this is the one now. Understanding of trade-off opportunity. Raymond, would you might be kind enough to read the class, please, again. The Singapore government has to consider our limited resources when making decisions on developing Singapore. For example, if the government chooses to develop a piece of land for housing, it will not be able to use the same piece of land to build a school. 
In 2014. In 2014, the government had to make a decision to acquire land previously used for other purposes, such as residential and commercial, to build the Thompson East Coast Line. Same thing, Raymond. Let's say now you and your wife you got married already, then you decide uh, to, to see okay, your your pet you say, let's say now you example, example, you stay in Bishan, okay? You stay in Bishan. You know oh. Bishan, uh? Uh, okay, then your in-laws, your wife's side, stay in Jurong. Jurong, uh? Oh. Okay, then you 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 no, sorry, now you don't stay in Bishan already because now you get married, you don't stay in Bishan. Your parents stay in Bishan, okay. You used to stay in mm. Bishan, uh? so now All you right. just in my uh you just in my ATBTO. Built to order fair, huh? then mm. the Thai Pan Chi Tampanis. Wow, Tung Si. Wow. The Tampanis, ah. The si, oh, ni yi tian si zai, ah, Manistala is near Bishan, ma, tibule. Mm, yeah, a few stations. Ah, uh, uh, three stations, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, then ni, ni, the, ni, the earth, si, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you bought a freehold property there. Freehold, uh, freehold means forever yours. Uh. Okay. Wow. Forever, no, until you die, your great grandchildren can take over unless Singapore is still peaceful. Uh. So you, you leave there. Hmm. Then now uh, I ask you, would you put your son in Bishan or in Jurong? Or, or get a maid, uh, a helper to stay in Japanese or a chauffeur that you're so freaking rich that you, you can get a chauffeur to drive your son to and back from school? Hmm. <clears throat> That's what opportunity calls. Huh? Now you're talking about now, is it? Oh. Then, eh, understanding the trade off. Huh? Then your wife, your wife is a lawyer. Wow, you will analyze with you. Like. Dear, you see, uh, putting my mom's house better, my parents are, because my parents are all teachers. Wow, in your Then, okay. So maybe weekend, uh, we go and fetch our son home. Then you say, oh my God. Then my son is like army, right? Buki bukau. <laughs> <laughs> okay, book out. It happened to my elder son, oh, by the way, uh, when I was a young father. Uh, my weekend only go and see my son book in book out. Seriously, you know, I work like I work about 10 jobs. Uh. 10 jobs. I'm not kidding you, uh. 10 jobs. Seriously. Very crazy, uh. Uh, doesn't mean I have a degree, but my generation is different now. Uh. Because even degrees are uh, there are a lot of competitors here and there. So yeah. So guess what, Raymond? How? Same, uh? Yavin. Wang Kang, Mimin, and Jia in the same situation, like the same scenario, Jurong East, Vishan, and Tampanese. Ah, you don't want to marry, okay, never mind. Ah, okay, that's your, you want to do your thing. Okay, so it's fair, 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 nothing wrong. Huh? You want to preserve your sex life, that's your problem. So Raymond, you decided to, which one? Jurong, Vishan, or Tampanese? Your, your wife say, okay, my parents take care. They say, no, way, but my parents' house are nearer to, nearer to Manistella, leh. Of course, your house, you say, I can get a helper uh, to fetch. I, I'm morning, I, I'm on the way to go to Bishan. I can drop my boy there. Then at afternoon, I can get someone to take school bus. Uh, right, take school mm -hmm. bus back home. Uh. Uh, you see? You're going to face this kind of issue one, for sure. Yeah. So you get married, got children. Uh, you got this issue. Uh. Whether you stay in Singapore, you stay in China, you stay in Europe, any place, uh, you will have this issue. So you see, now whatever you learn to this lesson uh, is really related to your real life. Hmm. You know, at first I start to say that you got study, right? Uh, which uh, JC, Poly, then slowly move to university. Uh, then slowly move to your real, uh, your family life. Ladies hmm. and gentlemen, understanding trade-off and opportunity costs uh, is more serious than any other things that, that we are talking about sharing courses. Then we're talking about this one. Because this one, uh, all these are uh, different priorities, all these are, uh, can be handled one, three, four, three. Mm. Uh, when you can handle, but when you come to the last one, you see already. You say, "Oh my goodness!" Uh, let me see. Let me see. What's Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I lost my page right here. Sorry, uh, give me a minute. Where did I go? Okay. So you say understanding of trade off is the one the opportunity cost. Hey, your son is going to be study there in Manchester Primary School six year like. Ah, uh, then oh. Uh, his result is so good, he go to reference. You know, reference is also in Bishan. Eh? Ah, then by the time you tell why, eh, la, poor, poor, yeah, poor, yeah. I'm like, 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 I'm
trust me. They don't do for their sake. And some of you from China coming here, you see, uh, they have to give up their, their, their life in China to miss their parents, which is your grandparents. They have to give you a better future. Think about it. So same thing. Uh, so it's a, it's a life after this next one. Um, not life after this. It's, it's like, you know, it keep continuously uh, rolling out. I mean, it depends on you. Lah. If you don't take it as a part of your responsibility, it's fine. You say, ah, no need to study when I started primary school. Just Japanese, any primary school will do. If he's good, he's good. I feel that nothing wrong. Every school has their uniqueness and things like that. Uh, it will be good that, you know, if you start off with a good foundation, which is, I'm going to give my conclusion now. Okay, let's stop this uh, later. We we'll talk about this first, my conclusions. Huh? So do you think, okay, uh, one car, you did the questions, right? That day, I submit to me. Was it today or yesterday? Uh? Was it yesterday? Today. Huh? Today? Uh? Yesterday. Yesterday. It's yesterday. Where, where were I? Oh, yesterday I was very busy. Sorry. At night, I was supposed to send to you, but I'm, I, I, do, I I read your, your things, uh, but uh, I'm lazy to open them. I think I sent you this morning, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's go through. Uh. So government. Role of governments in working. Maybe can you read to the class, please? Thank you. Role of the government in working for the good of society, maintaining internal order and external security. In maintaining internal order, agencies such as police, prisons, and civil defense forces protect citizens, property, and whatever society believes should be protected. For instance, the Singapore Police Force is one such agency that maintains internal order. SPF's core function is to protect people who live in Singapore from crime and all manner of criminal harm, such as terrorism and public disorder. Very good. You read very well today. Okay, carry on for this one here, please. One example. One example of this will be the riot that broke out in Little India on 8 December 2013. Riot broke out after private bus accidentally ran over an Indian national. Within minutes, the SPF was informed of the road accident and the Silver Defense Force was activated. Hence, the swift actions show that the government places importance in maintaining the internal order of Singapore. To ensure the external security of Singapore, the government engages agencies such as Army, Navy, and Air Force. One example of this is the Republic of Singapore Air Force. RSAF deter aggression and defense Singapore and its interests. Deters aggression through control of the air and decisively influencing ground and marit maritime battles. It also responds us to a full spectrum of missions from peace to war, effectively protecting Singapore and its citizens from foreign threats. Ultimately, both of these seek to ensure that Singapore's day-to-day -day activities are not disrupted and helps ensure Singapore's stability, effectively allowing society to function normally. There's a question, thank you very much, well read. So there's a question asked about internal security and external security, which is more important. Uh, 2013, uh, how old were you? Uh? Were you born already? Uh, I think six years old. Uh, 2013, six, six year old. Uh, 我跟你讲, uh, December 8th is actually my anniversary with my wife. Okay, I remember that night we were celebrating something like uh, something like that. Okay, anyway, 2013 already, my, my, my third child was born already. Uh. So I know that night was uh, I was still in uh, working in the school, so preparing for school to reopen in January. So this was something that I can remember was first time. Singapore has such a so-called serious riot since the Maria Hartog and the Hotley bus and the racial riot. These three majors, uh, hot, uh, these few majors uh, riots back in the 1950s and 60s. So there was peaceful. And guess what? Most of the police officers was like first time in their life handling riots. Yeah, we do practices uh, of, of those mock riot things and all these things. But if you ask me, uh, based on these situations here, you must take note of this date now. Uh, it might come out, and in fact, it came out in, um, in one of the school exam paper. 
whether internal or external security is important is important and true enough uh, uh, i would choose internal security is more important than external security the very simple reason is because um, Singapore is a diverse, diverse city, diverse society, where we have so many different types of races. We do not have this uh, luxury to, to, to say one race is better than superior the other. If so, then that will be the end. So we have the equal opportunity for everyone. So what does it mean? It means that uh, internal security is important to bring the peace of the three H, uh, a healthy relationship, a harmonious, um, diverse society, and also a happy a relationship as well to all the people staying in Singapore. So internal security is to make sure that this security not break off and end up, you know what happens? And it become terrorist threat. So external factors will come in, bring in the terrorists to tell them, look, because the government don't like you, that's why we should do something and terrorize them and give them a voices to be heard that you see, you know. And, it is, and this happened in France, in Myanmar, in uh, Germany, in US, in United Kingdom, Britain, England, and in certain parts of the world, you know. Uh, so this shows that uh, I feel that, okay, I please, um, a quick one, uh, later I'll ask you, and then you must tell me why you choose that. Uh. For me, internal security is more important. This is for governments or the world uh, or the country. So internal security is also important to a family. If a family do not have internal security and internal, internal belief and trust, this family will have So uh, once you have the internal security inside the family, everyone build the trust. Uh, there is nothing, it's like a force field. Uh, it protect you at uh, the force field outside. Uh, may the force be with you. Uh, they protect you. So that external threat will not come in. So no, as external threat will, come, no, will not come and disturb you. So I feel that internal security is not only important in a family, in a school, uh, in a company, or also in a country. Okay. So I leave it to you. Uh, some of my students say external factors are more important. They say that external factors are important because uh, these are the ones who can come in and disturb the peace. Uh, not wrong, uh, not wrong. Uh, I don't say it's wrong. Okay? Next, uh, Raymond, what do you think? Oh, the role of government. No, no, no. Which one is more important, internal or external? I would say uh, actually both are important, but to me, right, internal is more important. Yes, please, why? Mm, internal security, right? Uh, so I need to set the context, right? So like in in please, like please, in please. a society, in a society like today, like let's say the global society of today, right? Like no country, right? Uh, first of all, Singapore is like pretty much neutral in like every like military case in around the world, and like in this like era, right, we're so peaceful to the point where we wouldn't just like country A wouldn't just attack country B exactly. like out of the blue. Yes. Like even let's say you say the Ru Russian Ukraine war, it actually it actually started like nine years back in two thousand and fourteen when Russia actually annexed Crimea of Ukraine. So yes. everything has a history back. And Singapore, uh, I would say it is its geologic, its geopolitical stand has allowed it to like basically uh it is it, Singapore is a very peaceful nation and it and in a very peaceful era, fortunately. So I would say right, external security, like external threats are not as uh in uh, like the impacts. Uh, are not as huge as internal threats. Let's say, if you read the news like of recent years, right, you'll notice that like teens are self-radicalizing themselves uh, <laughs> like, on the internet. So stupid. Yeah, I agree with you. It's so that yeah. stupid. So uh, like, the, the threats actually lurk from inside, not the outside. That's the most dangerous because you can't really predict pressure. that. Peer's pressure. Hello? Yeah, Raymond, you hear me? Oh, yes. Yeah, peer pressure. Yeah, carry on. Hmm? I finished my stand. Oh, sorry, sorry. So it's peer pressure that's caused these uh, radicalized uh, people who believe that they should have a holy war against the government here or kill certain group of people. I won't be surprised you mentioned about Ukraine and Russia and Ukraine war. Um, whether the NATO, NATO comes in or not, or whether they are, uh, are worried the Russian will attack one another, it's, sometimes it's just a lame excuse. Uh. 
you know, is I won't be surprised one day Malaysia would attack Singapore or Indonesia will attack Singapore. Okay, uh, if you ask me, Myanmar or Thailand, they were more interested in other parts. Like they also may want to attack us. You never know, uh, because the different generation of leaders might have the different agenda to do it. Like a few years ago, Philippines don't like to work with US, the previous president. And now the present president like to work with US because they feel that China is a threat to them. Then, then you see it's about the Sparty Islands here and there. So, uh, and then it's now sent a uh, weapon to Taiwan, okay, to create another issue with uh, Jinmen, as well as Nan, Nan Hainan Tao, okay, all these things. So uh, I feel that uh, what you say is true. It all depends on um, set the contact rights, what, what you want to really see for that. So if you are looking at that, uh, I think you also agree, uh, family internal security is very important. If you do not have the internal security, um, <clears throat> the fabrics inside the family will be broken. Thank you. Uh, Wang Kang? Uh, I think internal order is more important because um, there are many like external like, factors that can like, affect like, the internal order. Like the um, Hong Kong uh, oh, oh, that's a good one. Yes, yes, please. Yeah, so like although although is probably caused by external factors, but then the damage it causes is like internally. So yeah. So it's the internal they already they're not happy with the uh, ladies uh governor, right? So they already find fault on her. They got a lot of things grievances against her saying that this, she did not do this and do that. And then now, other country, the British uh, and uh, America take this opportunity uh, to tell the, the, the Hong Kongers, say, hey, China got no human right, uh, bullshit. Uh. True enough, in certain extent, that I mean, communist countries always got a bit of mistrust for me. Uh. But after so many months, seeing that what the US and the Western are doing, uh, it gave me a bit of uh, quite big question marks. Uh. Uh, are they really talking about human rights? And millions, millions, if you say US and other countries, uh, okay, sorry, if you say other countries to tell Hong Kongers not to trust China, I agree with you, uh, Wang Kang, that, that's an external. Uh. And then because of internal, they already screw up with it. Uh, the governor was not fair to this and that. That's why you see the police. Well, wow, last year, my, my god sister uh, is working in Hong Kong Disneyland. Uh, so I have to check with her. And my ex boss was staying in... Uh, um, one of the very expensive district there. So she was he was telling me also uh, quite worried because there are some riots at that time. So you kind of, 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 of scared. But uh, if you tell me uh, which country to tell Hong Kongers to do not to trust China or these things, uh, fair enough. But I think in Guo Mio Okay, Britain has no rights to tell Hong Kongers not to support China. You know why now? Back to you, Wang Kang, since you mentioned this. Other countries can tell us that, say, hey, we are trusting China. We are self-sufficient. Okay, you become not uh, SAR, right? Now SAR stands for that so called the part of China, right, Raymond? Ah, every country can tell us that. Because they handed Hong Kong back to China. Yeah, but why in the first place they took Hong Kong? Mm. China lost to Hong Kong because England took this opium war. England so open to China. Okay, and because of the Cixi, Ta Hua Shao Yuan Ming Yuan, the Eastern Palace, and all the weapons, you can know the bloody British are so all the cannon and all the, the outdated weapons are uh, instead of the, the soldiers, the Chinese Qing, the Qing soldiers flying, firing at the enemy, the, the, the gun backfire and kill his own people. 
instead of shooting in front of the gunpowder, shoot behind, kill his own people. Okay, and that's how the Opium War once was by the British took over Hong Kong. Opium two two, the Portugal took over Macau. Okay, and now Sir Richard Benson tells Singapore government, you should not hang the drug trafficker. You are very inhuman, inhumane, Singaporean. I tell him, go to Marina and fly kites. Okay, you have no right to tell us to be human or not human. Ah, so I think you know this. So now you understand the Wangkang. Okay, so you see it's related. You see social side is related. So you see, you are using a very good example because the external threat itself, that means uh, Wang Kang, if the Hong Kongers were to believe in what the British say and others are uh, to get out of China, that means that uh, honestly, the internal, uh, the teacher did not teach the social study or history well enough to tell the younger generations what the heck they go through. You know, when, when, when Hong Kong was taken by, by British, uh, it was so chaotic in the 50s and 60s. Until today, you see, even now the China government want to control the Hei way in Hong Kong. I don't know. It's going to be an up here task. So, you see, and now they want to tell uh, Tibet, they want to tell uh, Taiwan, they want to tell certain parts of Xinjiang to be out of China. Why? What is the purpose of doing that? Huh? Excuse me, my ask. Why you want to do that? Now I tell you, lah, you go and tell the US, New Yorkers, get out of US. Hawaii, get out of US. Alaska, get out of US. California, get out of US. Be yourself independent. Call the California city or California country or Texas country. Why? All these country, all these states, huh? is it true, Wang Kang? It's the, the, the American people who went there to attack and kill a lot of Indians. That's like a tool. Right? US doesn't belong to the whites. You know, right, Wang Kang? It belongs to the red Indians there. 他没有资格,中国人在中国的土地是我们的自己的土地. What, what talk you? Uh? I'm, not, I'm not saying you are one kind. I'm saying those people what talk you. So you see, just so that's, that's why uh, thank you for bringing out the Hong Kong issues. Uh, I, I was looking at the, the, the story last year, it was very disheartening. Okay, how about you, Gavin? I think internal security uh, is important. Uh. Like external security, you need not worry because the country will not, uh, like suddenly attack lah. Unlike last time lah. But oh, I agree, I agree, totally agree. Now with the United Nations and uh, all these are uh, ASEAN uh, Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you you learn you learn your this uh international law very well. Okay, carry on. Yeah, military alliance. Uh, yeah. Very good. Very true. Very uh, true. but even if country. Uh, even if a country invades, the if the internal order is not very good, then then the then the citizens inside will still try to chung You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Uh, they, 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 they can just take the opportunity to keep their fellow citizens. Yeah, then they can just blame it on the invading country. Correct. That happens to be uh which country uh, which, uh, what what case was it? Uh Cuba Missile Crisis. Uh Raymond, if you study Cuba Missile Crisis, uh, uh they, they borrow us then they, later they decided the the you know the peak of base, the bay of peaks, they attack, then they, the the castle say, hey, make war tower. But they go to UN, nothing okay, don't do that. Huh? But you see they are building weapons ready, internal ready. So who who who's this? Third? Russia. Uh thank you. Yeah, then the country just lose the war faster. Okay. Yeah. Because, because they are they are fun side. Then they will just lose the war faster. That's why you can not see why the more tower fun tell tell thing like a like a cliff, right? Dive uh jump from the cliff and dive. Because he realized the emperor uh, decided to go to enemies, uh, so the internals like a all the, the corrupted officials are, has been being frightened by enemies. So internal, once your internal pillars fall apart. <laughs> sorry, uh, Gavin. So since you mentioned this, uh, which more you say right now? Sorry, uh, I'm just, I like to use real life example. No, no particular anything. Why do you say that your family is going to die? Why do you say that your family is going to die? Why do you say that your family is going to die? Why do you say that your family is going to die? 对不对? 如果一个家就是这样, 就是完蛋, 为什么有些家庭做得很美满呢? 哇, 
父亲赚很多钱，妈妈照顾家里无微不至，孩子读书很聪明，奶奶爷爷很高兴啊，整天可以去打太极这些。为什么？真的是几个字：家和万事兴。这是很重要。家和那个和字，家和万事兴。这这句话就是一样，说国家平泰国家平安，不啊，国泰平安对，对不起，不是国家。国泰平安，家和万事兴。如果你把这两个对联放在在你的家门口上 ，everyone like that， 每个人都是什么一视同仁啊，路不失矣啊。我们在帮王康在弄好华文，因为他要考华文考试了。耶、yeah! <笑> ，very bad， sorry， 王康，我安哥里面我华语没有什么差好，不需要，不需要，<笑>开玩笑啊。OK， <coughs> thank you 啊，咩咩话，把 you internal as the 呢？明明 ，what about you? Internal or external factors that is important? 明明，明明 ，Are you there? You you don't blur. I'm calling yeah. you. Yeah. Which one is more important? Hmm. Maybe internal. Why? Oh.、Uh, um. Because like. Like. Yeah. I'm. Because I don't really know how to say it, but like because like um wait um um I I have no idea. I'm sorry. Uh, Gavin, carry on. Thank you, Mimi. Uh, Gavin, can you read this? Okay. Ensuring justice is the judiciary's responsibility to independent. Is the ju judiciary just responsibility? Judiciary responsibility to independently interpret and apply the law that was passed by legislature. Okay, so you see, ah,、uh, once a law passed, you will know whether the internal or external security is powerful or not. Carry on. One example. One example of the judi <laughs> judiciary judiciary ensuring justice for the citizen would be the creation of family justice courts. Now you see, so you really making the internal peace ready, ah,、uh, internal security. Uh, carry on. The family justice courts provides relevant info and takes action to protect Singaporeans in the event of family violence. The family justice courts also provide guidelines and definitions on what is considered family violence and how to apply for a personal protection order, which can protect victims of family abuse while they sue for against their aggressors. Hence, this gives the people affected an avenue with which to seek justice. It can be paid. It can be said to be a way of ensuring justice for its victims. <coughs> this creates systems which citizens are judged fairly and objectively, giving Singaporeans confidence in the legal process. That is why why so many countries people come to Singapore. They not only protects their family members, they also protect the women's right chapter. Carry on, Javin. Okay, this ultimately works for the growth of society as it provides a basis for disputes to be set settled without having to resort to vigilante violence, ensuring peace and stability in society even when there are disputes. You see, ah,、uh, like South Africa recently, ah,、uh, they have been looting and and rioting and. And ratings of the whole street of South Africa, even in parts of US, you realize that if the citizens are not happy with the governments, the internal security is going to have a loophole. So it's like like what you say, lor. We are right, Gavin. Turn for the attack, lor. The enemy will just come in to to disturb them. So they know their countries are in deep shit, lor. So they want to bring their deep shit to other parts of other countries. So like for example, US, you know now they they are having some problem here. So in in the, they know they are not stable, so they are going to disturb other countries. And what happens now? Their U.S. currency. And I do have a student last time ah、uh, who really have this problem ah、uh, when the they are, they got the court have to protect the mom and my student against this violent, uh father who come every day to ask for money, ask for this. Uh, so yeah, very poor thing. Okay, providing goods and services for the public. The Singaporean government devotes significant resources to improving the well-being of their citizens. So we got the GST voucher, we got the CDC voucher, we got the rebates of the 
utilities, beers, and many citizens enjoy benefits that includes the provision of goods and services for them, which may or may not be subsidized by government, so that all citizens can have equal access to them. Like the child's card, the child's card, you know, right? The blue card where you go and see doctors, you got discount. For instance, the Singapore government works towards people central public transport by creating the SMRT, SBS developed Singapore public transport. That means uh, those we have for financial issue, they can ask for this uh, a, a, a MRT card or EasyLink card to subsidize their transports and give them allowance. The continuous investment in the provisions of public transport in Singapore has created a readily accessible Singapore with approximately 4,600 4, bus stops. And so, and you can see they are building more accessibility for this. Uh, people staying in Bongo, Sengkang, or even Jurong West, or even the end of Tampanese West or even to certain part of Tanjung Baga, whatever, Tiong Bahru. This has afforded many Singaporean citizens the convenience of being able to really reliability and conveniently travel around the city in a timely manner. See, not only they make sure their families are taken care of, the infrastructures are taken care of, the budgets are taken care of. So how? So this is to build out the internal security that people will work together. By addressing the needs of the people, the government ensures that the citizen will enjoy more conveniences directly increase the quality of life and hence work, working for the good of society. You see, just like Raymond, now your son says, Daddy, I don't want to stay in a Popo house, which is your mother-in-law house. They say, Daddy, I also don't want to stay in Nai Nai house. Okay, that's your mom's. Then you ask, so son, where you want to stay? I want to stay in my own house. Okay, I want to prefer, no, I don't want to stay there. Every weekend I come back, I miss your, you and mommy. Oh, okay, you are so touched. Huh? But the actual fact is that you want to stay in your own house because you can play Genshin. <laughs> <laughs> because he stay in Nai Nai House and, and Popo House, uh, they say, Ayah, Sun Zi, Si Jian Dao Liao, Yao Zuo Gong Ke. Oh my God, so boring. Huh? Example only. Okay, this is very standard. I think you all laugh, uh, you know. Uh. So no, because how? How are you know whether this which is good for him? How are you, how do you build your son? Say, oh, 儿子, okay? You're okay? You quiet, you live in Nai Nai House, or you live in House, I will give you certain perks and benefits. Something like that in exchange for what? for his well-being. Get it now? So this is where you learn from this social study. But of course, I think you know, when you're adult, you know what to do, how to pamper your children, how to, to can I have the two P? How to praise your, your children and how to punish your, your, your children. And by the way, Raymond, and Kelvin, a few days ago, I really slapped my son very badly on, her, on his forehead. Yeah, one can't, don't be look at me. Huh? Yeah. I really stepped at him and then when we put the thing on the table, I literally swing and pull his shirt and stab him three times. You know why? Because he stared at me. Yeah. He's like, Raymond, huh? Uncle, he stared at me. You want to stab him like that? Oh, I stab him like that. Why? It's very simple. Because in Singapore, you stab him like that. You stab him like that. You stab him like that. 幾年前就是一個小孩子瞪啊,他整班人去喊他。在Orchard Tower 有一個走過,瞪而已,他用一直到slash他的net死掉。so I got this OCD argument. So when he stared at me, you know, he can scold me, he can don't think. But when my wife or my mom or my children or anyone stare at me, I tell you, I'll, I'll become a, a monster really. So Raymond, if I don't teach my son not to stare at people like that, 我好过我教我儿子, 好过他等一下在外面给人打死你。他连死都不懂怎么死了。Hey, don't laugh, no, seriously, no. Even now in police case, uh, some people staring incident uh, can cause this problem here, I'm telling you. So be careful. Uh. And true enough, a uh, few days ago, I was at Tanjong Baga. I was helping my boss to set up the bazaar sale in Tanjong Baga. Yesterday was the last day. So on the way, I went back, I uh, went to Tanjong Baga to take MRT, but one Indian guy was staring at me. Seriously, then I look at him in side view. Then he approached me. You know what I do? I keep 1.5 meter away with him, from him. He showed me, uh, my MRT card, no money. Can you help me? You know, first thing, I point to the control tower. Go there and ask for help. Don't ever get too near. Recently, uh, there are people who put some powder uh, who ask you to smell 
After that, you hypnotize, you blur, blur, you know what happened? You will take your wallet or even kidnap you. Recently, it's happening, all these things. Uh. And thank God, when I stand there, uh, I make sure uh, one card on top of camera. So, Xiao Mei Mei, can you bang me? Huh? I can do this. You know what I do? Go near to any, to a lot of people. Okay? Because sometimes you might accidentally walk to a toilet or somewhere very secluded. Uh. Uh, this way, he follow you. And please, uh, when your eyes go to a certain place, always look at the mirror. They got reflection behind you. That's my instinct. Okay? And after that, I went to the toilet. I came out of Galvin. I was, I was at one corner looking at watching him. And true enough, uh, that poor boy, uh, poor man, uh, I think he's a Bangladesh worker. He was really shocked. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure whether he's still asking for people help or he don't know what to help. But I got, I got no time to do anything. I just walk off. So you see, the staring incident, be careful. Uh. So Raymond, don't be surprised why I'm so violent to my son. Because it's, 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 the, it's the things that happened before I seen with my own eyes. Because if you go and Google it, read this cases, staring incidents cause people to just for innocent life like that. So if I don't teach, I told my son after the next day, I say, do you still want to stare at me? What's the reason I, I, I beat you? You don't understand? Maybe you are new to this, this Singapore society. Okay, you ask the older generation, you know, and it happens few years ago. So please, uh, when people look at you, look away, don't stand, don't keep standing. It might a few motive. Uh, it might pretend to walk, approach you and ask you to do this, ask you to do that. That's it. Not to be a good person, to be a good Okay, you must be careful. Ah, you have to be careful. Okay, so same thing like this one. You say safeguarding the interests of the citizen by implementing legislations that safeguard interests of citizen. The government ensure that citizen will have a sense of security about living in the country. So you can see some of my colleagues, ah, who are police officer, will will always go to the MRT stations or take the MRT train to make sure the presence is around. Okay. Right. So one example of this is the work right initiative. We help both employees and employer understand their rights and responsibility, take care of the workers. So once the workers' basic needs are taken care of, the internal security will come in as well. It creates awareness of employment rights amongst low wages workers, allowing them to understand when their rights has workers and being abused. If you are staying in the where are Kranji, uh, if you are staying in Kranji, Bukit Batok, Bukit Gomba, and Jurong East, and as well as somewhere there. You will see a, a lot of dormitory right, for all these uh, foreign workers. You see, we take care of them as well. We don't anyhow put them uh, in other countries in a very low, downgraded um, uh, dormitories for them to stay, but we give them a good one. We walk past, you can see the dormitory is very well taken care of. Okay, uh, it's about human rights. Uh. It also provides, it also helps provide them an avenue to seek help in the event that employment is right now. That's where the Ministry of Manpower come in. As such as it ensures that the citizen will not be mistreated by other elements, so they are well taken care of. Okay. Now, citizens contributing to the needs of societies and citizens of individual group, we will stop there here for this one here. Okay, we will continue next round for this one. Okay, I just put there. Because I want to read uh, Wang Khan's essay, okay? Because we still, okay. Um, Wang Khan, are you ready? Let's go. Because, uh, where's your essay? Uh, okay. Because I paste already, uh, I, I, you see, I paste your essay here. See, uh, just to prove to you. Uh. I'm not until here, so sorry. Uh. Let's go. The very needs is an important challenge for the Singapore government when deciding what is good for society. 
society has agreed that certain basic needs, such as the needs for food, food, clothing, shelter, and personal security are necessary for a person. Beyond so, this, I'm sorry to interrupt. I, I want to bit by bit explain. Uh. So, the first part you are describing, we, we use the D-E-E-R-L, describe, explain with example and expressions and the result and link back to the questions. You are using the martial theory, which is, yeah, you are telling people, okay, why the needs and interests are, are different and why we need to, to, to focus on certain things like food, clothing. Carry on beyond this. Beyond this, a diverse population may not be able to agree on common interests and what is most important for a happy or fulfilling life. For example, an efficient public transportation system will be an important priority for those without their own mode of transport. However, those with their own mode of transport may be concerned about efficient road network to ensure that they are able to reach the destination quickly and efficiently. Yeah, this one I must agree. Uh. Seriously, I'm, I, I, I do take public transport. I do drive my car. So at times when I take public transport, you know there's this thing called bus lane, right? Uh, only the bus can travel. If not, uh, the car will go in the bus lane, you'll get fined. So sometimes when I drive, I also forgot I drive the bus thing and quickly turn out. So this is something like that. And halfway through, sometimes whether you are, I'm in a public transport or one car or in the, my car, I cannot take it when people are doing uh, men, men, men at work, doing the construction of the road. Or sometimes they put that laying cable, laying pipeline or doing cabling. Okay, you know, right, Singapore, we do not have cables hanging around in the air. Right, those those are telephone pipe, uh, the telephone wire, all these. Uh, in China, in Malaysia, you got all these you know, uh, telephone line hanging. So everything to chamber to sit underground. So my wife obviously, why you complain, dear? You know, Singapore is maintaining the government is maintaining the, the infrastructure, the cables. Uh, I agree, I agree with her. But when I drive, I'm very OCD. Uh. I don't like to have certain things like that, you know, with with uh, all the cones are, uh, and then the people share tell you to move one side. Okay, so it's nothing wrong. So it's where I'm concerned. But you see, I pay root tax. Eh. Every person who drive a car must pay root tax. So this root tax, that means they are using the money to maintain the roots. You see, that's what you might you say. Carry on. As such, the de decisions on how the resources should be used will need to be made. Hence, in a society where the population is large, agreeing on what is good for society can be very difficult. And you go sharing, of course. Where are, where are? So you see, this is the part when you say, Linking back to the question, so we I can't please everybody. The needs and interests are different. So how, I, if I please this person, this one is so. so you, uh, are we are we having any balance view? No, there's no balance. But we need to maintain for a certain group of people. So majority win. So if most of them are taking public transport, of course I want to make the the public transport smoother. But if you are driving a car, means you can afford to pay the COE the petrol, the root tax, uh, all these uh, uh, parking, uh, all these things, then you have to be able to um, accommodate to people who are taking public transport. But some people say, no, I pay so much, uh, therefore I should deserve a better um, treatment. Okay. Carry on. An equal sharing of cost is an important challenge for the Singapore government when deciding what is good for society. When a decision is made, some individuals or groups will bear greater cost than others. For example, in building an efficient transportation system for the country, it is necessary to build expressways for smooth traffic flow. While society will generally benefit, residents living near the expressways may be affected by the noise generated from the traffic. Stop, uh. I realize that uh, some, some people are very funny. You know you are buying a houses near a, a, a expressway. Like for example, if you are staying in Sengkang or Pongo, uh, you know, there are a lot of expressway along the way where you can see a lot of building. If you know you are going to buy a house there and you know there's an expressway, or you know that you're buying a land, a, a house that is near an empty land, and this empty land might eventually build into something else, you must be perceived to understand that you no, know, not everything is perfect, correct? You have to get used to it. Uh, uh, TPE, yes, yeah, the, the TPE, that's right, correct. You stay in Sengkang? Uh? Well, how come you know? Uh? I used to stay, stay in Tampanese, you see. So every time I like to go to Jewel, Tampanese, uh, just to relax. So you realize that, wow, the houses are getting more and more. And the houses are not only getting more and more. I tell you, good luck to all of you. The houses are getting smaller and smaller. Carry on. 
often? Often, residents living near the, these public facilities believe that these developments are needed. However, they also believe that these facilities should be built further away from their homes so that they do not have to bear the inconveniences associated with them. This is an example of not in my backyard syndrome. In 2012, HDB had plans to build studio apartments for the elderly in Toei Estate in Bukit Timah, where only those aged 55 and above would be able to apply. These studio apartments were to be built on a piece of land that had at that time been used for a basketball court, jogging track, and a small garden. Stop, so uh. You see, uh, Bukit Timah, no, Wang Kang, we are talking about the good school there, correct? No? Uh, the NJC, Hua Chong, Nanyang Girls, uh, the name it uh, Madalis girl and all the landed property, the big condo, a uh, big uh, landed property, big bungalows. You build this ah, uh. hello. You are spoiling the market leh. Cannot leh. So how? Because we have to. If you study geography, you know right. The demography of certain parts of the estate got merged. So old people coming in. So how we are have we are facing an aging population in Singapore. Not in Singapore, majority of country by like China, Japan, or Korea. So what are we going to do? Let's go. Some residents. Some residents were not pleased with the plan as they felt that they would lose an recreation, recreational spaces. HDB then mentioned that there will be recreational spaces built in the studio apartments that will be open to residents in the estate. Do you want so to go? Wait, wait, do you want to go? If you stay in a landed property, uh, then beside you there's a basketball court. They say, no, 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 Wang Kang, Delvin, Mian Mian, Jia Ying, Raymond, it's okay. I am building some facility recreation inside the, the, the old folks resident. Nia Chima. Open it. You feel some fake one, lo. In the other pain, you saw, you do just to please me, ah. Or please who? Then I'll chill up in that. That's a lot of say, hello. You must say you change runner. Like, come on, let's chang tea pana. They are you, you should turn like me, come on, or can you got here? Come on, like, you see that, uh, done, uh, see that, what I, uh, so on. 现场播到, 有两个uncle就是为了抢一粒 篮球打来打去 the, the boss pieces the boss You say my boss are bigger than your boss But both of the basketballs And my goodness, how come they hit the boss And then they have the boss to hit another boss Now reporting for CNN E News So whose boss is hitting which boss? You all might laughing at what boss are we talking about Basketball, volleyball, netball la. All playing a different boss Ay, You see? Book Kalan, please. Uh, thank you, uh, Wang Kang, to bring out this thing. When I mark this, uh, a lot of memory come back to me, you know, seriously. Because in Sengkang, they built a hospital there, complain. They, they built a, a coronavirus, you know, let's say, Fan Si Ren, the Hu Wei, they complain. Because you know, Wang Kang, he's afraid of being sick, 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 he's afraid of you, well, you want to stay opposite where all to put all the dead bodies or the urns? No way, man. You go to Macritchie, huh? you know Macritchie, like in uh, the uh, what Brown Hill, uh, the Bukit Brown Hill, uh, opposite somewhere. That one is literally uh, the landed property beside is a cemetery. You know? I'm wondering, uh, Raymond, they have been staying there for many years. Uh. I'm not sure whether at night how they go back. Can you imagine walk back? You go, oh, eh, ni hao, eh, ni tete mian tai ni tou chou lai. Mei yu wang ji. Oh, okay, bye bye. <laughs> Scary, right? <laughs> okay, so I like your example, ah. Uh, seriously, no way, ah. Uh, seriously, when you write, ah, uh, Wang Kang, ni wei jie de qi guai ma? Huh? Go to the estate, ah. Uh. Seriously, when I read this, ah, uh, so sorry, ah. Uh, you see, Gavin already shake. He said, no way, I'm not going to join. Carry on. Despite that, some residents continue to disagree with the proposal as they are uncomfortable with living with having apartments meant for the elderly near them. Hence, in Singapore, the situation is even more difficult as the country has limited land and such facilities would inevitably be built near where some people live. I tell you, uh, I'm not sure where you stay. Uh, if you're staying in HDB uh, and staying next to an uh, apartment for, for elderly, I'm going to tell you, every year, the house will be a little bit of a house. You know what I'm saying? What is a little bit of a Amen. Ah, 
it's not it's not I'm happy you know, when you talk toxic means oh all these old people who pass away I tell you I feel very hurt for them because they are the one who built Singapore up from nothing from their bare hands seriously oh Despite, okay. Uh, where are we? Uh? We finish this already, right? Yeah. Okay, in conclusion, I agree with you. Uh. I agree with the unequal sharing. Uh. That is your answer, right? Carry on. In conclusion, unequal sharing, of course, is more important challenge for the Singapore government when deciding what is good for society. This is because people with differing Needs and interest can accept help from the government in other forms, although they could not get the benefits they wanted before that. When people are unhappy about unequal sharing of cost, the government might take a longer time explaining and convincing the people that a particular development will be beneficial to the country in the long run. This also requires more manpower to talk to the residents about the situation. Thus, in this way, unequal sharing of cost is a more Important challenge. Hey, thank you very much. This reminds me of Raymond's story. Raymond, so now your son like, uh, needs and, and interest can talk. Okay, quiet. Never mind. Uh, Daddy will help you to this, this, this. Uh, you stay in my night house. So, okay, I will buy you this. Maybe at the end of the year, you study well. I bring you to uh, Disney World. Okay, oh, well done. Uh. Then, a uh, few years later, you and your wife keep up to another uh, two more kids. So now you got three kids. Wow. Then your elder son, uh, Raymond, don't cry. I know, you, you, I know you're stressed with your three children. Oh, stress with. <laughs> then uh, your second and the third one got more benefits. Then your elder son, daddy, you don't want to be able to do it. Why do you want to be able to do it? Now daddy has a baby, you have a baby. You see, unequal sharing of needs. Raymond, you're tired. All right, Gavin also tired. Right? You realize that? Uh? No, I'm giving you this example. Is it good? Uh? No, seriously, right? Needs and interests can be ma managed. I agree on one count. When you come to unequal sharing of costs or unequal sharing of things, uh, people will start to scratch their head. Hey, excuse me, how come that time you, he has this, I don't have this? Uh, especially your other son. You get me now? It happens to me, to my own children, you see. <laughs> so Raymond, you understand, huh? Okay? Don't get angry. So, but it's a happy issue, like, to be honest. No, Raymond, you think, huh? Siao, are you sure not? Hey, you see that your kids don't have you, eh? Seriously, you know, my friend told me, uh, uh, his mother and his friend, uh, grandmother, uh, the mother is not grandmother, the mother is 70 plus. So his friend said, Well, did you how long? You have five sons, and then we end like you, Tia, and you each Taiwan sell now. Then he said, Well, I have three sons, three sons don't want to get married, they don't have sons. You see, Gabby, you see, 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 可是他的那个他的安迪就讲哎呀对啦我有孙子可是你你不用供孙子有时候你可以去那里自由自在去玩你懂他讲什么呀可以玩多久我喜欢抱孙子啊我喜欢享受天伦之乐啊我也是所以